Adrian the Problem Broner turned out to be no problem at all after Blair Cobbs obliterated him in their 10-round bout. After the crushing defeat, Broner dropped a bombshell that fans had seen coming for a while. Is it finally time for Broner to hang up his gloves? Let's dive into the aftermath of this shocking fight. Blair the Flair Cobbs achieved a significant milestone in his career by defeating Adrian Bronner tonight in Florida, securing a 10-round unanimous decision victory. The judges scored the fight 96, 93, 96, 93, and 97, 91 in favor of Cobbs. Although Cobbs managed to knock Bronner down in the second round, he couldn't finish the fight early. Bronner, aged 34, with a record of May 1st, 35, displayed poor performance throughout the fight, consistent with his recent bouts. He lacked speed and power in his punches, appeared sluggish, and seemed to have lost his timing as a counterpuncher. It was evident that Brunner lacked motivation and enthusiasm for the fight. On the other hand, Cobbs, with a record of January 1st, 17, demonstrated his eagerness and determination in the ring. Despite his flaws, Cobbs actively engaged in the fight, consistently throwing punches and maintaining activity. While he may not yet be considered a serious contender in the welterweight division, his victory over Bronner holds significance, especially considering Bronner's past reputation as a top draw in the sport. Reflecting on the fight, Cobbs acknowledged Bronner's resilience, noting his strong chin and ability to withstand powerful blows. Even after being knocked down, Cobbs recognized the challenge Bronner presented and expressed respect for his opponent's durability Adrian Bronner faced a tough night against Blair Cobbs in their 10-round welterweight bout. During the fight, Bronner lost his mouthpiece four times and even lost a tooth. The former world champion was knocked down in the second round and ultimately lost by unanimous decision at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. The fight was filled with action and drama. In the second round, Bronner not only got knocked down, but also lost a tooth. Despite this, he managed to get back on his feet and continue the fight. Although Brunner landed some punches, he was hit with at least twice as many from Cobbs, who was returning to the ring after a two-year break. Cobbs praised Brunner for enduring many powerful blows after the knockdown. At times, Brunner swung with more force than Cobbs, but he seemed hesitant to throw punches, possibly worried about Cobbs' counterattacks. As a result, many of Brunner's punches missed their mark. This defeat came shortly after Brunner made controversial remarks including a threat of gun violence and a homophobic slur towards Cobbs. Despite these remarks, Cobbs remained composed and smiled frequently in the ring as he outperformed Broner. Jab it oh! Down goes Broner! Hey, proud of you, Adrian. After the fight, it seems that Broner was somewhat confused and didn't want to accept his loss. It was clear that he got dominated, but for him, it was the other way around. While he was walking away from the ring, he claimed that Cobbs didn't beat him. However, even his own fans know that his time in the ring is over. They know that the time for retirement has come and that he has to hang up his gloves for good. With each fight, his performance is worse, and today he even lost a tooth. It was reported that allegedly he broke the news to his agent that this was his last fight and that he will no longer be fighting. Cobbs, on the other hand, called out Ryan Garcia for a potential next fight. In his post-fight interview, he said that he already looked good and it was time to get out there. He currently has a record of 17, one with his only loss coming to Alexis Rocha. But let's be real, he beat a Broner way past his prime. Ever since his loss to Maidana, Broner never looked the same. Garcia will probably stop him in one or two rounds. I look pretty good, and now it's time to get out there because we want to look even better at the next fight. I came out there and did the very best that I could coming from Philadelphia and um, in humble times, and I made it. Get your girl out of my goddamn DM! It's my time! Blair the Flair is the most exciting man in boxing, and I'm the people's champion! Woo! Before the fight began, there were some issues, and it took a while before the fighters came out. The wait for the Bronner and Cobbs ring walks took so long that someone brought a chair into the ring for 92-year-old promoter Don King. After standing for about 15 minutes, he finally took a seat. Meanwhile, the Triller TV commentators ran out of things to say, but managed to fill the time with their commentary. Don King, even at 92, still knows how to talk and keep people engaged. During an interview between fights, he got a bit political. He talked about the need to improve boxing and make the world better. He mentioned the conflicts where Israel was attacked by Hamas and Russia attacked Ukraine without provocation. King emphasized that unlike boxing, where you can have a rematch, the losses in these wars are irreversible and tragic. He expressed sorrow over the thousands of lives lost in these wars 
and criticize the senseless violence. King stressed that we are smarter and capable of doing better to avoid such tragedies. Let's take a short look at how the rounds went by. In the first round of the fight between Adrian Bronner and Blair Cobbs, Cobbs started strong, landing several right jabs and a left to Bronner's body. Bronner appeared hesitant and showed little urgency or aggression, while Cobbs remained focused and active, circling and consistently landing jabs. As the round ended, it was clear that Cobbs had the upper hand, scoring 10-9. The second round saw more intense action. Bronner threw a hard left but missed, and Cobbs capitalized with a powerful left hand that sent Brainer to the canvas. Bronner got back up, but the referee had to reinsert his mouthpiece. Cobbs continued his assault, landing numerous punches as Bronner struggled to respond. Eventually, Bronner started fighting back with jabs and attempted to attack Cobbs in the corner. Cobbs, however, countered effectively and even smiled through the onslaught. Notably during this round, it was reported that Bronner lost a tooth. By the end of the round, Cobbs was clearly ahead with a score of 20, 17. In the third round, Cobbs maintained his aggressive approach, firing punches continuously. Bronner stood his ground but looked confused and hesitant, with his fists rarely moving. Cobbs, on the other hand, kept up a steady stream of punches, further extending his lead. The score at the end of the third round was 30, 26 in favor of Cobbs. In the fourth round of the fight between Adrian Bronner and Blair Cobbs, Cobbs started aggressively, landing several right jabs and connecting with Bronner's head multiple times. Bronner seemed more focused on defense, blocking rather than throwing punches. Despite the crowd's support, chanting for Bronner, there wasn't much action from him. Cobbs clearly dominated this round, extending his lead. By the fifth round, Bronner tried to close in on Cobbs, but Cobbs responded with a barrage of punches, keeping Bronner at bay. Bronner continued to pursue Cobbs, but threw very few punches, making himself an easy target. While Bronner managed to land a couple of lefts, Cobbs remained more active and effective, delivering a powerful left that further widened his lead. In the sixth round, Bronner appeared hesitant, likely worried about getting hit if he threw punches. Cobbs capitalized on this, landing a sweeping left and maintaining a high pace. Bronner looked tired and ineffective, unable to mount any significant offense. The round ended with some trash talk between the fighters, but Cobbs remained firmly in control. The seventh round saw Bronner trying to lead with his left, but getting hit in the face in return. He managed to close the distance and land a body shot, but lost his mouthpiece multiple times, disrupting the action. Cobbs continued to fire away, but Bronner showed some signs of life, landing impressive shots. Despite this, Cobbs still had a strong lead. In the eighth round, Bronner landed a punch but took multiple hits in return. Cobbs continued to frustrate Bronner with his head movement, making it difficult for Bronner to land effective punches. Cobbs remained elusive and continued to outbox Bronner, maintaining his lead. The ninth round had Bronner stalking Cobbs again, but Cobbs did most of the punching. Bronner managed to deliver some solid body shots, but Cobbs quickly responded with a flurry of punches, smiling through the exchanges. Cobbs continued to dominate, further extending his lead the final round, the 10th, opened with an exciting exchange of punches. Bronner showed more aggression, but Cobbs pushed back effectively. The crowd got into it, chanting for Bronner, but Cobbs consistently beat him to the punch. Despite Bronner landing a big right, Cobbs answered back as he had all night. Bronner lost his mouthpiece again, but despite winning this round, he couldn't overcome the points deficit. Cobbs secured the victory with a final score of 98-91. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below knowing.